Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Abdullah, fourth year medical student, and today I'll be talking about research backed study techniques. So, why do we need study techniques, especially in our medical education? Because the curriculum of medical education is so vast that a person who does not use effective study techniques will spend most of his time just studying and lead an, Im and lead an imbalanced life. To ask the question, where did we learn our study techniques? Were they taught to us in college or school? Like we're taught ABC and how to add and subtract and everything by our teachers? The answer to that, unfortunately, is no. We weren't taught them. So how did we come up with our study techniques? We came up through intuition. Whatever we felt was right, we did that and whatever worked for us. So that isn't a very effective way of studying through intuition. So how do, you, how do we evaluate what is effective? Do we go on personal experience? A person who gets good grades studying in one technique, would he recommend he or she recommend that to someone else and say that this is effective, use that? The answer to that is no as well, because something that is effective for one person would not be for another. For another. So what we do is we do we conduct research in large populations and we use the results, results of that research to know which study techniques are effective and which are not. We did a survey in our medical school uh, in first and second year medical students and asked them which study techniques did they use most commonly and the results were highlighting and rereading topping the list. When we collect a list of items which are considered ineffective through research, highlighting and rereading top that list and other modalities of learning, such as studying for long period, reviewing one topic again and again, and reviewing notes are also considered ineffective through research. So first we will talk about highlighting and rereading. Why is that ineffective? Because when we are rereading a topic, we do feel that we are understanding that better and we are, when we reread it again and we read it again, it becomes easier to read and it becomes quick. We read it quicker and we do feel like we are getting the hang of it. But when we go for test, we don't perform very well on that. So how is, why is that? I have made an illustration. Firstly, we'll talk about one thing about neurons is there's a property called consolidation, like how many so ever times you fire a neuron, as many times as you fire the neuron becomes stronger and it fires quicker and there are less losses of conduction. This is a property called consolidation. Like with anything you practice, it becomes stronger and better. And that's the same with neuron. And this is also why I said the saying goes use, uh, about the brain, use it or lose it. So we'll go about rereading right now. So when you're rereading a topic, what are you doing? You, re you are firing this blue neuron right here which encodes the memory into the part of the brain here. This neuron fires the first time, you fire it again, you read it again, you fire, it fires again, you read it again. This neuron becomes stronger and consolidated and becomes easier to fire. And that is why you're feeling that, that you're getting the concept, while that, that you are getting good at the subject, while you are just becoming familiar with it. You're just consolidating your encoding neuron. And on test day, when you sit for the first time, you have fired the blue neuron maybe 10 times, but on test day, the blue neuron is gonna work. The neuron that's gonna work is the green one, the one that retrieves the memory from part of the brain. And this hasn't been fired even once. And you fired for the first day on test, first time on test day, the, there's a connection made this isn't very physiologically accurate, but this gets the point across. So there is a connection made between the part that stored the memory and that the part that retrieves it and the green neuron fires and you put down whatever you learned on the paper. So this neuron firing for the first time has not been consolidated yet, so it would fire very weakly. And uh, this is why, like, we take an arbitrary value, you learn 100% of a subject, and on test day, you fire the neuron, the green neuron, for the first time. 
and you just are able to retrieve 50 or 60 percent of the material so that is not very good so how do we tackle this these problems we tackle them by using effective study techniques